Hey girls, it's Alexia here at AMI Clubwear, and can you believe it is already that time of year again? Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and you literally have just over three weeks to figure out what you're gonna get your guy for Valentine's Day. And you know what? Guys have it really easy when it comes to picking out a gift for a girl. I mean, there are so many ideas. I feel like the holiday in general is kind of geared towards women. You have the flowers and the chocolates and the teddy bears and, you know, Victoria's Secret. I mean, the whole industry is designed to make it so easy for men to get you a gift. But if you are totally at a loss as to what to get your guy, especially it, you know, if you got him something for Christmas, which hopefully you did if you're a good girlfriend, um, or maybe his birthday wasn't too far in the past, I mean, you're probably like, I already got him everything he wants. So I have a few ideas for you. They're mostly centered around jewelry and accessories. And yes, men can wear jewelry. Um, obviously you see guys wearing like chains and watches and all of that, but I'm gonna give you guys a lot of ideas and show you just how um, much guys really do like accessories, so stay tuned. All right, so my first gift idea is something along the lines of a watch if your guy likes to wear watches. This is a bracelet, and bracelets come in many different styles, colors. Um, you can dress them up or down. There's so many different metals, and um, the great thing about bracelets is that if your guy already likes to wear a wristwatch, it's gonna be a great option because he's already used to having something on his wrist. So you can get something in the tungsten carbide material, which is a very like masculine alternative edgy metal. It's very resilient, it resists scratches, so it's a better option than say like stainless steel, which is a very popular material for bracelets and watches. Um, you can also do titanium if you you know have a little extra money to blow because it is pricier. Um, anything that incorporates carbon fiber, which is that beautiful black like braided uh, quilted, I don't know what the right um, term is, but carbon fiber, man, it's used in like racing, on auto parts, and I love carbon fiber, it's so gorgeous. Um, you could also go for a classic chain bracelet, so like little chain links, different styles, different metals. You can get it in silver, you can get it in gold, etc. cetera. Um, it's great because you can dress that up or down. So that's a very versatile gift. And then you can also do like the new style of cable bracelet. So it's kind of like a, literally looks like a cable, like a rope of metal. Those are really cool, come in a ton of different metals. And finally, if your guy likes watches, but maybe he's not too keen on wearing something around his wrist all the time, Another great option is a pocket watch. Um, very classic and timeless, especially if your guy is like an old soul and loves vintage stuff. Okay, girls, if you're the lucky lady of a baller, self-proclaimed, let me tell you, um, definitely guys that like to kind of show that they have the cheese, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. A great gift idea for them is a money clip. Great things about money clips are that they are not as uncomfortable for guys to sport in their pockets as a wallet, because sometimes wallets are really big and bulky. And they just have that like square constantly pressing on their butt cheek. It's probably indented in there already. So <laughs> money clips are amazing for guys that just want to kind of like bust out their little cash roll and not be like, too flashy, but you know, obviously they're not trying to hide it. Money clips come in many different styles and varieties. Um, you're definitely gonna be able to easily find one that's gonna be tailored to his preferences and tastes, um, different metals. You can get them engraved, you can get sports teams on them. There's a whole range of cost as far as money clips go, so that way, like even if you're not a baller yourself, um, you're definitely gonna be able to get your man something special. Also, if money clip isn't really something that you think he's gonna be too keen on, you can also try a metal card holder, which usually will have um, just room for like credit cards and ID business cards, especially if he's a businessman. If you get him a very classy business card holder, that could really impress his clients while he's busting out his business info. So if you're dating or are married to a guy who is like pretty classy, Again, has a old soul type of vibe. Cufflinks are a great idea. Again, you can go so many different directions with cufflinks. There are a ton of different designs, different materials. Um, they're, they add a nice touch to a man's gesture. So you can either 
dress them down with a nice shirt and then jeans out on the town or you can put them with a nice um, you know suit and the tie and dress shoes and everything cufflinks are great because they're never going to go out of style and it always shows that a man has a ton of like class and just like i don't know what the right word i'm looking for like i don't know some kind of exuviance about him so definitely consider cufflinks as an option if you're a guy just can't get enough ties in his life aka he has to wear a tie every day for work um, tie clips are a great way to add some unique accents to his everyday look and still give him like his little show of personality and also it's again very classy these are also known as tie bars they come in different shapes again different metals different designs um, really kind of analyze your guy and figure out what he's going to go for um, one of my friends here even told me that she saw a tie clip that was like shaped like an arrow I thought that was pretty unique and it's definitely going to set him apart from the other guys at the office and it's a great conversation piece and he'll be able to brag about you a ton when people ask about it so if your guy isn't too shy when it comes to wearing jewelry or even if he is a necklace is always something that you should consider because necklaces can really like set a guy's look off in a good way. Um, they can either wear it discreetly underneath their collar or they can have it longer out, you know, in a more flashy way. And I think it's a great way for a guy to express his personality, his individuality. And, you know, if you have a little bit of extra cash that you can spend on that chain, go ahead and let them show it off. So they come in different, um, lengths obviously different thicknesses and again different metals so if you can't afford something gold definitely go for the silver i mean if you have a lot of money you could even go for platinum i have no idea how much that would cost but it would be an amazing gift um also if you're a little bit more on a budget you can go for something very very simple like a very simple thin chain but then put like a guitar pick on it and you can get these engraved of course you can pick one out that's personalized and um, especially if they're really into you know that kind of music it's a really great idea so if you've been with your guy for a while or maybe the relationship just feels so right that you think it's time for a ring for yourself but he hasn't seemed to you know get, have gotten the hint yet you can go ahead and drop him a real hint yourself and buy him a ring for valentine's day now this doesn't have to be an engagement ring per se uh, but you can definitely go to the jewelry store and check out what they have because there are a lot of great options, um, different materials. Again, a lot of the same stuff that you're going to see on the bracelets and the necklaces. There are some really, really attractive um, masculine rings. So again, go for materials like the tungsten carbide. You can go for titanium if you have a little bit more money to spend. Um, there are some awesome rings that have like flames on them or spikes. Um, a lot of different masculine elements that are for sure going to get his attention. Just make sure if you're going to get a ring that you know his ring size. Um, I'm not really sure how you can get that without like him knowing what you're up to. But maybe you could just casually bring it up and be like, hey, like how big are your fingers? Like you have huge hands. Like what size ring do you wear? Something like that. I mean, he'll probably get a little ego boost from that too. <laughs> um, also, as far as rings go, um, Keep in mind as well that Etsy has a lot of options where you can get them engraved. Um, even jewelers, jewelers can do that for you. Um, they can personalize them. But again, check out Etsy and definitely make sure that wherever you get this ring that either you're for sure 100% what size they wear, especially if it's a wider band, or that they have a good exchange policy because you don't want to get stuck with a ring that he can't wear. Okay, girls, I've already given you a ton of great ideas, so thank you so much for watching those. But if none of those ideas float your boat or if you just think they're not going to be fitting for your guy for Valentine's Day or you're on a budget or your relationship is really new, you can get him something more casual like a wine or liquor flask. You can get sports teams on them. You can get them engraved and personalized. Um, they're really easy to find. You can get a custom lighter. Those are always cool. If he smokes, hopefully he doesn't, but if he does, you know, <laughs> you can get him a cool pocket knife. 
There are so many different kinds of pocket knives out there. Just make sure that he's not gonna hurt himself with it. Um, you can get him a deck of cards, uh, a nice deck of cards, like something custom with either a sports team or just something really classy and unique. That's gonna be great for him to take to the guy's house and play some cards with. Um, you can also get him a cool iPhone case or iPod case or whatever cell phone he has. Just make sure you know the kind it is, obviously. Um, and those are readily available online or at the mall. So just keep in mind that whatever you're gonna decide to get, that you give yourself plenty of time to allow for like shipping and all of that because um, if you order it online, sometimes the shipping time can take like 10 business days and realistically, like that's probably gonna be, I mean, obviously that's like two weeks or more. So um, be on the lookout for that. And don't forget that a lot of times with gifts, it's more about like the thought that counts. So even if you're not the best gift, gi gift giver, if he can tell you spent a lot of time and put a lot of effort into his gift, he's gonna love you even more. So happy Valentine's Day. You're gonna see a ton more from us here at AMI Clubwire. Definitely be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at AMI Clubwire. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. Love you girls.